Welcome back to another episode of Oxen Free with Ty Elfin. And we got the radios and stuff out of the building here in the last episode. And now we need to go to the gate to see if we can get in there. Over. Yay. Now we got to figure out <laughs> Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees and the sun's out, you know? And I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. You bring a jacket, but you don't bring a swimsuit. The sun is not out. The sun is... I guess it barely came out just now. But see, this okay. is when I get punished for watching the weatherman. He said it was going to be like overcast. He said there was a chance for clouds. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Am I... Did I get stuck in time or something? No, I know. Day's going by like crazy fast, right? I feel like we were practically just accosted by those soccer players. Hey, it's cold. No, I mean in this time period. Oh, geez, you're hitting the existential nostalgia trip already? I get it, Alex. I would have been happier in the 70s. The 70s? It's like the worst time. You're dead. I'm dead. I'm dead? I think she's talking about the... Oh, the, the car? No, they don't... Listen, Mom and Dad know. They don't care. Well, I mean, they cared a little, but they know I can fix no, it. No, no, no. You, you... You drowned in in Horn Lake back at home. Yeah, last week I died in the fire, right? You keep having these nightmares because you eat Mom's cookies, like, right before bed. And anyways, I'm going to teach you how to swim at the pool in the park, so don't worry about it. Today turned out to be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, okay. no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. Uh, yeah, um, it really is kind of ideal, actually. Yeah, I'm like, right about to start sweating, but I'm not. No, it is perfect ice cream and tennis weather. That is rare. Okay, so this must be a memory. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's his face? Mr. Collins' English. Uh, it's been... I, I don't know. It's been... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> Okay, I guess. So... Uh, <laughs> do you... Well, I guess you don't remember anything, right? What am I meant to remember? I'm sorry, did I forget something? I'm bad with... Our whole, like, island horror show. Ghosts and possessions and... And none of this is jarring like anything loose. If this is about Ren's movie, I mean, I told him I didn't want to do it. Half the script was an underwear scene, so, you know, no thanks. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and, like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could, like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I, um, uh, totally understand. And, yeah, let's, uh, do stuff, you know. Cool, cool. Michael, uh, he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? Yeah, well, I love him, too. I had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. 
What's it up to? Six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. So, apparently, you love me. Is that right? <sighs> well, if I don't, I don't know why I got you that skateboard for your birthday. You skate? Not yet. Oh my god, I forgot about that thing. How could you already forget? I gave it to you like two months ago. <laughs> I'm sure it'll get a lot of use. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um, no, I'm good. Uh, yeah, get me a drink too? Sure, I'll be back. Okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? I've missed you, man. I've, I've just missed you a lot, that's all. Hey, come on. I've missed you, too. And I know I've been hanging out with Princess, but it's a two-way thing. You can knock on my door. We live in the same house. We gotta bring back movie night and board game night. Yeah, sure. And look, I know this was supposed to be our day. But I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... But I owe you. Yeah, no problem. Just don't get all smoochy-smooch while I'm in the general vicinity. <laughs> because that would ever happen. <coughs> it's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you Sorry really about think that. of her? Stick with it. Stay with her. If she makes you happy, if she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. You know, I never noticed. That's a good looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. No way, Bucko. <laughs> Bucko? You haven't called me that in years. So evidently that was back before he drowned. And it was a day they spent together. Alex, are you... All right, are you back with me now? Man, you've been acting like a... I don't even know how to put it, like a bird just flitting around in circles for ten minutes. I was about to, like, slap you or scream or something. Nona, I, I just saw... I think I just saw my brother Mike. What? How? Where? Here? Is he... Was it like a... I don't... I don't know what to call it. A vision? I was, it was like those time jumps we're sometimes having, right? This was, it's like we've been having ripples, and this was a wave. I was bumped all the way back to when Michael was still alive. Right now? Okay, I guess it's time for us to move on. Why aren't you at the tower? This one got a little antsy. Weird stuff was playing on the radio. That voice said I had a mother's laugh. What does that even mean? Anyways, are we happy? We are happy. We got a new radio that's supposed to open doors and gates in some magical way. Oh, thank God. I was getting nervous that you would have walked all that way and then not found anything. Seeing as how it was my advice to uh, do the whole thing. How have um, you two been? What am I working with here? How much leering am I going to have to put up with? No, well, I'm glad we can leave. Let's put it that way. Yeah, don't even tiptoe in the vicinity of a joke right now. I just want to get out of here. Well, if the radio's the thing... It doesn't matter without Clarissa. Do I really have to point out that she's not here? Oh, yeah, that's true, I suppose. Clarissa will be fine. She's She hitchhiked to Mountain View for that concert, remember? Okay. This is a little different. Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All okay. right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? Yeah, but before we do that, so I are you remember try the gate seeing, thing, uh, or another. If we're still gonna go to the house, let's just do it. Try another the radio, room Alex. that had one of those that we can try. Where are you going? I thought we... Aren't we sticking to the... The find the boat and paddle oh, away game plan? Oh, it's not gonna let me go. Yeah. I guess we're just on your plan then. But, um... 
over in the compound area where the school is. It had one of these, and I wanted to try the radio on it, but we can't go back. So... Maybe we can go after we get the gate open? This one is a whole lot bigger. Turn on the Lima India Golf Hotel Tango for the ships coming home. Turn. This has got a whole lot more numbers on it, so... Turn on the Lima India Golf. Take a minute, evidently. Okay. First, we will eat and drink. And then... we thought the little one was bad enough to go through all the numbers. One forty point one, maybe. This don't work. We'll go back to it and see what it does. Oh, there it is. And the gate's open. Cool. Oh, wow. Neat. <sighs> Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah, happy thoughts. But, uh, yeah, when we were exploring there before, there was a Jesus, that house is huge. Another that lady like really that. knew how to live. So. It's like the Chateau de Ad. Ah, oh, she does have a boat. Yeah, see? Allie knew what she was talking about. She should, anyway. I mean, she had to slip back and forth here all summer. Ooh, what's this? Basement. Oh. There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. Huh. Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. And here's a combination for a padlock to a chest is all it says. 29, 18, 54. A chest? Have you seen one yet? <sighs> Negative, but maybe I just missed it. She made a lot of... What should I call these? Slides? They're 
Not videos. Um, silent memories? Let's see if we can go back to that other building, though. I want to see what's in that room. Where is there was another path over here that we need to check out. Oh, we can't go down? Okay. Oh, it won't let us go back. Rude. Hmm. That's disappointing. Go up. A daisy. Oh. Oh, it's like a it's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not it wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office like with the radio. No. We looked at Sometimes all of her when stuff, I lock I think. myself out of my house, I'll just... I can't help but just stare at the deadbolt trying to, like, hypnotize it to open or something. You ever do that? Um, not really. But we can try that now if you think it'll help. See if we can get into the house. It's a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. Let's see, let's try the one. Well, that wasn't it. Oh, there we go. That is a nifty gizmo. Okay. Finally. Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. You scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How would that make sense? Clarissa, where have you been? After we saw you in town, you just... Hey, I could ask you the same thing. It was like I sneezed and you were gone. I ended up in the fields and just decided to come here and, like, wait it out. I haven't seen anybody since. So, I thought I'd camp it up. Uh, and then how'd you get past the gate? It's like a slab of wrought iron. It looked impossible to climb. Well, apparently it's not that impossible since, you know, I'm here. I thought you hated physical activity. Uh, not when my life's in peril. Christ. Look, Clarice is here, so everyone's here now. We can just... everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat or a phone or whatever and just find a way home. I promise. We can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. Yes, fine. Okay, let's focus up. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. <sighs> it's been disconnected. Bummer. Man, she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think. Ergodic thermodynamics. And religion, sheesh, okay, there's a lot Okay, we of... get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all miss her dearly. Okay, why don't you get off your ass and help then? I am helping by keeping out of the way of more enterprising sorts like mm. yourself. Ugh. There's nothing in here. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Attics are always a little haunted house spooky, right? It's the tight spaces, the darkness, the spiders, the creaking, and... Well, I'm actually, that about covers it. We need to check that out, because it was... Ooh, you know so what? Cool. This might be the, um, the chest that takes that combination. 29, 18, 54. It's a lot of radios and... Those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. We think that means she couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? T 
tune into the source. It, it's probably something about the special radios, you know? Huh. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Perfecto. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So, say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. Okay. Um... Alex! Oh, Alex! Come down here, please! We have something we want to show you. Clarissa, what's going on? You're confused, aren't you? Well, you should be. How does it go? Things are different, except in a different way? <laughs> Just come downstairs so we can get started. Nona, come on, honey. It's time to motor. Ren, are you... are you all right? We're in a... we're in a time loop thing. Okay, what's going on? Come on, Jonas. I... I really need you. Don't blank out on me now. Ah, there you are. Now we imagine you're a bit confused. But don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. My training? All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Training? I, I don't want to be trained. What are you signed up for this, Alexandra? In the caverns, you tuned in to our signal. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. How was I meant to know what the hell was gonna happen? And yet, without understanding your footing, you still acted. Don't worry. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see in the house. You will go and find it. See? As simple and good humored as, as your mother's apple, apple pie. And what if I... What if I don't, huh? What if I just stand here and don't go along with this? Refusal to cooperate will incur grim penalties, I'm afraid, but it's, it's your choice. choice. Now, let's start with a softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. Radiation? So... Ten, nine, she doesn't give you much time. Seven, six, five. Once they call the fish mm. line, four, three, two, one. I don't the see radiation. Had just begun. Oh, I'm sorry, child. You weren't even close. Stop it! Come on! No, it's, it's my fault. I never know. Back. The little one. We're back now. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. What's done, done is done, done, as they say. If you'd paid attention, you'd have noticed the television set right by my side, the little X-ray emitting death machine. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation in another sense. Pay attention. What does this have to do with, with us? I mean, we're... we're I not... spy with my little eye a notch. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Eight. Mm. Seven, That's not six, nice. Five, four, three, two, one. Alexandra, what a disappointment you've turned out to be. Huh. Don't, just, just stop, please. Don't do anything to him. Oh, your new brother. Gone to first light. Where do they keep going? What are you doing with them? What are we doing with them? That is the question of the night, I guess. It's time for the bonus round, Alex, so stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. The, the picture of, of, I guess it's Maggie, Adler, and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. Okay, we got one. Adler and her friend Emma. You see, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing, well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Anna tried to sport with us many years ago, and, well, only one survived. 
control. In the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time. And a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. Wait, what? What happened to Anna? Let's leave it at the poor girl didn't know what she was playing with. It doesn't matter. They're not an eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use the waves to absorb into your friends so the sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. You can't do that! Think about what you're doing! We can do that, Alex. And what has seemed to your parents as 80 years has been for us eons to know an existence without life. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here on the island. It will be okay. a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life and on to the next. You, you had your, you had your time. Don't take ours just because you had some, some accident. We never had our time that was ripped from us. We watched the universe's conception fly to its demise over and over and over again. When our vessel dashed on the rocks, we had until dawn, and so will you. We would spend our time wisely, and we thank you for your good service. Well, that could have gone better. Okay, I think we'll stop this video here and pick up the next time. So, I will say, if you haven't already, go ahead and smack that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Feel free to leave ideas, comments, suggestions in the comment section below. And for now, this is Diofin saying, over now. Loves and hugs you all. Later.